Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Aziz Drives. Today's fuel economy test is going to be a little strange. First of all, because we're driving an electric car. And second, because I've never done this before. And third, because we're not putting in fuel, we're putting in that strange thing called electricity. But let's have a look at the car. Here it is, friends. Believe it or not, but this is a smart Brabus. And we have to charge the car up, so I'm going to do that. For that, you just take all of these things out. Very easy, plug it in. And because I got the car from Clyde, I have this Helion card, so I'm going to use it. This is, I mean, if I had an electric car, I would just do that. I mean, it's very easy. You don't have to do anything. You're allowed to start charging, so please just do it, God damn it, just do it. The reason why I'm doing this test is very simple, friends. Yesterday, I had a terrible experience with this car. And it was so terrible that I, I, I was scared shitless, in all honesty. I was driving on the Autobahn. I had like 50 kilometers, 15 kilometers of drive. The clock said 30 kilometers. But as I was driving, I noticed it going down, 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 down. And all of a sudden, I ended up with zero kilometers, zero reach and brown pants, okay? They were not really brown, but you get the point. I was scared. I thought, what am I supposed to do? I can't just run to a, to a petrol station, take a bottle and fill it up, right? So uh, that was a scary thing. And uh, I just want to prove or see if what they claim on the speedometer is actually the right thing to claim. Very simple. Let's have a look at the car because I had to stop charging 50 kilowatt hours. What am I supposed to do? Wait for four hours? Anyway, why do I say this is a brilliant car? Very simple, friends. It costs 48,200 bucks to get, right? Brand new, almost 50K, a Brabus with 428 horsepower, 543 newton meters of torque, and this will accelerate from zero to 100 in 3.7 seconds. In that sense, I like it. Also, if you get it with the Clyde subscription, you will only pay like 600 bucks a month and everything is going to be included. You will have all of your things like insurance, uh, if anything happens, warranty, services, and so on. And it basically looks like a Mercedes. Let's be honest here. It looks like a Mercedes. The materials that they used in the interior are also not bad. Look at that panoramic roof. You can't open it, but then have a look at that front view here. I mean, this is literally a Mercedes, which makes sense because Mercedes owns 50% of that company and 50% goes to a Chinese owner. So that's as far as I can take it with the car, right? Let's take it off for a drive. Okay, but we are here for the drive. So uh, I have to skip all of that because obviously I didn't set the car up for myself. I have to go into drive, go here, blah, blah, blah. I mean, this is a, it's a fucking Nertis car. In all honesty, it can do everything better than you. It's a nerd, 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 nerd. You're a nerd. It's incredible. Changing and driving modes is a whole setting, man. Sound effects and everything. You know, I like cars for being cars. This is a little bit too much for me, in all honesty. But I get that the people like this, especially if you're driving a smart. It really is smart. It's just like the, the name. It should suggest it perfectly. It's very smart. You can do everything. But now we have to reset the drive. So the trip is reset. Let's see. The car says... 86% battery capacity at 355 kilometers, okay? You are my judge. And then we go here, we go to the Brabus icon, navigation system. You see, 111 kilometers, 51% should be left when I reach it, okay? 51%, let's start, let's start. Now, the strategy with this thing is very simple, actually, because when you put it into echo mode, it will only drive the rear wheels, which is fun, but you can't turn the ESP off completely. They will interfere anyway. But in any case, it makes this car use less electricity on our trip. Okay, very simple. So uh, we're driving full in eco mode, only rear wheel drive, only 270 horsepower available right now, not the 428. For that, you have to go into Brabus mode. And we're just driving, just driving, very simple. Let's be honest here, friends. All this time you have been watching the video and you have asked yourself one question. And I get it. I completely get it. And it doesn't have anything to do with this car. It's, where is your beard? I messed up. I messed up, friends. I had a business meeting yesterday 
and I thought you know what let's freshen up the beer just a little bit let's freshen up a little bit make some straight cuts went to the buff took the trimmer out placed that click on it right the seven millimeter click or whatever and I did this by the time I did this I noticed I made a terrible mistake and the mistake was the click was not right on and it shaved with zero millimeters so I ended up looking like Hamza Chimaev which was very nice right I thought hey very beautiful right no 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 mustache it looks nice but the problem is I'm in Europe I have a business meeting so I can't look like Plus, I'm a Muslim. I can't look like a Chechnyan MMA fighter. Okay? So, there was only one decision to be made. The beard had to go off. Five years, I haven't looked myself into the mirror without a beard. I don't recognize myself, man. I don't know whether I look good or bad. I don't know if I look shit now. In all honesty, I don't know. I don't know if my face, face looks good. Because I never had... I can't remember myself without a beard. So... You be the judge, but hey, the beard is growing back. We are already on the second day and hopefully it will grow back fast. Oh my God, I noticed that my fucking nose is big as hell. Uh, and now I really look like Drew from Minions. So go ahead, write those comments. I don't care, okay, I don't care. Life goes on. Beards grow back, life goes on. Now I want to show you something about the car which I think is absolutely ridiculously good considering this is a 49,000 Swiss francs car. I mean, in all honesty, the smart pilot here, you just press this button. Let me just go on the brake one more time. Look at that, smart pilot, boom. It has one of the best autopilot systems ever. It's that good. It's really good. It's not even a joke. It's really, really good, friends. And. It recognized everything. We have a head-up display there. I mean, I can't believe the price of this thing. It feels solid, valuable. It feels like a very good car. And let's have a look at the trip. I think this is it. We are currently at 20.3 kilowatt hours to 100 kilometers. I think I can get it under 20 and then we will see. I mean, smart claim 70.2, but obviously I think this is just uh yeah this is just basically driving every everywhere on uh, on normal roads like 100 kph 80 90 or whatever but we're driving 120 like another test uh yeah so i think we're going to get under 20 which is not bad by the way plus it's nine degrees outside okay it's not the ideal temperature so that is very good i wonder how much reach we're going to have left it's time to talk about the today's sponsor of the video friends and it's very important for me for you to understand that i don't work with anybody three years you have been watching the videos all the fuel economy tests all the reviews that we have done i never took any sponsor everything was paid by myself or was with the help of people that that wanted to give me a car so all the fuel economy tests everything for three years has been paid by me we did a couple of videos for uh, rentals on Instagram, but never on YouTube. But now I want to proudly announce that I work with Clyde, and Clyde is a car subscription company in Switzerland. Now, why do I like Clyde, and why did I decide to work with them? Very simple, I think they're beneficial for the people. I had always a problem with electric cars because I know 65% of people here, they don't live in a house, they live in a rental, maybe they don't have money, to buy themselves a garage monthly or to pay you uh, monthly for a garage and to pay for a charging station at home which i was one of them right when you don't have money the only thing that's left for you to do is to park the car outside hope you don't get a bill from the police and that's it but with clyde it's very simple and easy for you to calculate your fixed cost monthly you get the car you get the depreciation you get everything calculated in one bill you pay 600 bucks a month for this Brabus, for example. That's it. Charging included, tires included, service included, depreciation included. Everything is included. If anything happens with the car, you don't pay for anything. No surprises. You know exactly I'm paying five to 600 bucks a month if you want a car like this. That's it. That's it. And if you want to change cars, you bring this car back, take another one. 
very simple that's why i work with them and we did a crazy race with the micro lean uh, with those micro cars and we did a crazy race with micro cars so make sure to check that out and obviously i like just fabrizio which is the ceo of the company so check them out link is in the description let's continue with our review that's it friends that's it we are arriving at my hometown when i was born when i was formed and shaped san gallen and this is basically the place it's telling me to stop <laughs> right in the middle of the road and i can tell you one thing we are at 49 percent okay i believe it told me 52 percent so that is not that bad now when you count on it fully like a hundred percent you're going to get wrecked very simple because this happened to me but in all honesty this is not bad it's not a bad result and we had 21.7 kilowatt hours to 100 kilometers 111 kilometers driven let's go in here let's check this stuff out what is he saying one hour 10 minutes of drive 94 kph as the average speed which is okay that's basically like brilliant we have nine degrees outside so it's not bad guys it's really not bad but means i can't get home i have to charge it up i have to drive some more here uh, all of that shit wasting 45 minutes of my life to charge this thing up but i will say one thing about it though it was a very comfortable drive and the smart guy told me basically that they're planning on getting one of these like the latest model with 300 kilowatt hours of charging capacity this one has 150 and that would mean you would get 300 kilometers in 15 minutes of charging now this is only available in switzerland i believe i don't know about other countries that have that we even have a, a Taycan, I believe, that can do 700 kilowatt hours of charging capacity. But that's about it. I mean, you know, it's, it's going into that direction. There is no difference to me in electric cars. I mean, you can't say the engines are better on an Audi electric car. I believe they are from Siemens. You can't say uh, electric engines are better from the Chinese or whatever. They only have one goal, driving forward, driving backwards. So there is no art in creating an electric car and i believe what electric cars have done is they made the game new they basically started a new chapter in game because everybody can now get on the electric train and build very good cars like this i mean in all honesty it's a very good car it even looks good credit where credit is due i can't act like i don't i, I think it's a bad car credit where credit is due it's a good car it's a good car especially for the money i think what you get here for 49,000 or 600 a month with clyde is just very very good how much did i pay of driving this car 115 kilometers to come here very simple this is a very simple calculation because the car has used 21.9 kilowatt hours to 100 kilometers i have been driving 115 which results in 25 kilowatt hours used with the smart brabus hashtag free now in the background we have a 22 kilowatt hour charger so it took the car one hour and about one and a half hours to charge and i had to pay this ticket here which results in about 15 to 16 bucks of driving this car here i don't know man at this point it's just about preference but i don't like losing that much time to charge this thing up and so on so uh, i would still pre prefer the petrol engine car I can't let you go without doing a launch control start, friends. Let me just show you how that goes. You go here, you press rocket launch, then you put the left foot on the brake, right foot on the throttle, and you have to be in Brabus mode, right? Very simple. Driving mode here, press this then, and rocket launch. Now. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a smart it's a smart it's a smart why does it accelerate from 0 to 100 in 3.7 seconds it's funny to me electric cars have just, have just made the game new it's really funny to me even Lancia is building now cars again <laughs> I mean uh, I'm very curious where the future is going. I will stick with my petrol engine cars as long as I can. Planning on buying a V10. Spoiler alert. Yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you and see you on the next one. Goodbye.